I honestly feel like I have found an outlet mall for AI video and image models. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI today. I have a very short amount of time to tell you about two huge things, at least huge to me. Now, first of all, you've probably already seen a lot of videos about the seed dance model. If you haven't, well, you are in for a treat because it is awesome. And if you've never heard of wavespeed.ai, who yes, is today's sponsor, they are a platform where you can try a bunch of these models. You've probably seen other platforms similar to this where they have a playground where you can enter prompts and create videos right there on the platform. And also API access and wave speed is no different. I won't read this entire list here, but you can see that there are a lot of models for images and video that you have access to through the API and through this interface here. Today, I am here to talk about Seed Dance and reining myself in is the hardest part of this because it is so amazing and they have so many different models and they're all great. So we're gonna see if we can show quick examples and do a little quick comparison between models like Kling. But here's what I wanna say right up front so you don't get lost in this if you wander off. There are two things about the WaveSpeed platform that are amazing. Number one, it is really fast. Compared to your normal Kling type generations, which can take five to six minutes, even Kling generations on this platform are about half of that or sometimes even a third. But when you're using the Seed Dance model on this platform, I'm telling you, you can get 10 second, high resolution, excellent videos in less than two minutes. And with the smaller models in as little as 16 seconds. Oh, you think I'm kidding. Well, I don't have time to mess with you doubting Thomases. I'm gonna get right into it. There are several groups of models that you have access to in addition to the Seed Dance model from ByteDance. You have Minimax, Hiluo, you got Kling, you have One 2.1, you have Flux for images, and then you have a category where they're all lumped together. Today, I am going to just try to keep it right here to the ByteDance Seed Dance video models. There are many different versions of them. There's the Pro Image to Video at 720p. There's the Pro Image to Video at 480p. There's the Light Image to Video at 480p. There's the Light Image to Video at 720. There's the Light Text to Video at 1080p. And as I'm going through these, you'll see that they have a price here that tells you exactly how much that generation is going to cost you. We have the Light Text to Video at 720p. We have the Light Text to Video at 480p. We have the Light Image to Video at 1080p. We have the Pro Text to Video at 480p. Look at these low prices. We have the Pro Text to Video at 720p. We have the Pro Image to Video at 1080p. And we have the Pro Text to Video at 1080p. I know I probably didn't need to read all of those, but I really wanted to emphasize that you've got a lot of options here and they're all really inexpensive, like eight cents to generate this one, 15 cents to generate this one. What do you get for eight cents? Let's click through and see. To run any of these, you can just click on the model name and it's gonna load up a default example. So in this case, in a realistic style, a glass staircase spirals upwards in a soft lavender sky, a barefoot dancer ascends step by step, tracking upward shot. The Seed Dance model is amazing at taking camera direction, including cuts to other scenes. You can actually tell a narrative with shot changes and keep consistency with characters and locations and everything else. With this light text to video 480p model, you can get 10 second generations or five second generations, and it'll show you right here exactly how much it's gonna cost. So a 10 second generation is gonna cost 16 cents. Let's just do one real quick to show you exactly how fast it is and the quality that you get for 16 cents. But before we do that, if you've never done any price comparison, on video generation, if you've never priced out your particular platform of choice and determined how much it costs you per video to run, then this may not mean a lot to you. But I did a lot of research. I did a deep dive on various platforms that offer similar services like access to their models, but also just the cost difference between C Dance models and something like Kling. It's a difference of dollars. So let's just do a simple prompt. A wet dog is walking down a city street cut to close up of dog finding a piece of hamburger in a puddle and sniffing it. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's click run and we'll see how long it actually takes. Almost immediately, we have 7% done. I haven't edited anything yet. Now we're at 16% done. Dare I just talk my way through this entire thing? Could it be that short that we could get through this and it wouldn't be awkward? Well, not all of these go this fast, but they are all much faster on this platform than any other that I've tried. And again, you can do the research of the metrics between the platforms like I did. I just don't have time to show them to you here. But I will be doing deeper dives on this platform because I think it's going to be a resource that I personally use for a long time to come. I said that you saw this pop up. That's incredible. And you saw the quality. We've got the dog walking down a city street, close up of the dog, finding a piece of hamburger in a puddle and sniffing it. We had the camera direction, all of that. Yes, this is only 480p, but that's amazing quality and so fast. Another thing I love about wave speed is just how they have the site set 
up and how you can jump from model to model intuitively, but also keep track of where you are with your usage and again, just how much everything is going to cost. So up here we have the usage per model. I've used that Cdance Pro image to video 720 19 times, but it's only cost me $10.50 to do 19 videos. And then compared that with the Kling text to video master where I did three videos and it cost me $7. Okay, so this just gives you an idea of the difference between these two models. I don't have time to show you examples of every seed dance model we have, but let me go through some examples that I have done just to show you the quality, and when appropriate, I'll show you a comparison with Kling or another model. Now, this is an example of the light version of the text-to-video model at 720p. So a man in a banana costume slips on a wet floor in a grocery store aisle, shot opens wide, then zooms in as he dramatically falls, bright colors, sitcom lighting, and humorous tone. And I would say that it followed that even down to my narration. Just to give you a better idea of the quality, I've downloaded this particular clip and I'm playing it at full resolution so you can see there is just a ton of detail here. Again, it's a 720 generation. I use this Pro Text to Video 720p model a lot because it just does excellent quality and it only takes 113 seconds to do this 10 second video of this quality. A young woman with wavy blue and purple hair and short yellow raincoat walks through a neon lit alley at golden hour. The scene starts with a wide angle from behind, then shifts to a side profile close up as she turns to look at a wet dog. Reflections on the wet pavement, cyberpunk style, and moody highlighting. Now it did not start from behind, but every other aspect of this prompt was followed. Here's what it looks like at full resolution, so you can really appreciate the detail here. And the fact that it took less than two minutes to generate this, again, if you don't do this a lot on other platforms, you may not appreciate that, but this is crazy fast. Now, just as a comparison, this is the Kling 2.0 master version. So the text to video master version, and those master models always pride themselves in great prompt adherence. So again, it's the same woman. We do have her starting off from behind, but the dog is with her the whole time and she doesn't turn to face the dog. So it's kind of like they got them opposite. Now this is, of course, is a great generation. Kling is a great model. I'm not denying that. But if we pop it open, we'll see that it's a lower resolution than the other generation that we got from Seed Dance. It took 869 seconds, almost 15 minutes to generate. And if I click through to customize and we bring it back to this, this was a 10 second prompt with this model. This isn't the generation, but here is the prompt. It cost $2.80 to run that generation. As as opposed to this one, which took less than two minutes and 30 cents to generate. Let's look at an image to video example. In this case, it is the Pro Image to Video 720p. Here is the image that I sent up, and it is start with a Yeti singing karaoke in a dive bar, zoom in on its emotional face as it belts out a song, crowd sways, neon lighting, sincere tone. So we've got a little bit of a push in here. We've got an implied sway from the crowd, but oh my heavens, look at that detail. I'm showing it to you here in full resolution and it's even too big to fit on my screen. Here's another amazing example of image to video. We had this as the still image. Start with an octopus in a yoga pose on a beach surrounded by squirrels. Zoom in on squirrel toppling over in downward dog. So what we're looking for is this octopus to teach these squirrels how to do downward dog. Here's the video in full resolution and I'll be darned if that isn't downward dog position and this squirrel here jumping right into it. Less than two minutes to generate that. 30 cents for a five second video. Let's do another quick comparison. This is now the pro text to video at 1080p. And the prompt is a line of snails wearing disco outfits slides slowly across a garden path cut to overhead shot revealing a mirrored disco ball hanging from a tree. Here's a nice big shiny look at the output, the 1080p output from the seed dance model. Amazing. Compare that to this output, which is from the Hiluo version 2 model, their latest model, which is also excellent. I've done a video on that recently, and there's nothing wrong with this video. It's great quality, although we don't get the camera cut from the original prompt. It's also a very different style. So here's an example of something you can get for 16 cents. This is a 10 second video, and it basically talks about a child eating pizza, and a cat comes and steals the pizza while the child is distracted by a butterfly. So we've got the camera cut in here too. The camera follows the cat in slow motion as it runs off with a slice. Incredible prompt adherence. This is the light version of the text-to-video model at 480p, so a lower resolution but still great quality. But a 10-second version of this model is only 16 cents to run. Now let's contrast that light model that we just looked at with their top-of-the-line pro model at 1080p. Same exact prompt here. And here's the output. 
So you can be the judge. Extremely impressive for such a fast generation. That was a five second video just then and it only cost 60 cents to run. Here's another comparison video real quick with Hilo version two. I've got this very complicated prompt about machinery and gears and nanobots coming in to do some repairs. And we do have the machinery and we do have the gears and we've got to zoom in to, I guess, what could be a nanobot doing the repairs. It's kind of hard to tell. It all happens fast. I only gave it five seconds to do this. So that's the Hilo version two model. Here's another clip generation using their version 2.0 text to video master model. Now note it's not the 2.1 model which is a big jump up from the version 2 model but version 2 of Kling is not shabby either and this is the output that we got from that. Now let's look at what Seed Dance gave us. Here is their 1080p output. Now I just think it speaks for itself personally but you can be the judge. This took less than a minute to generate and cost 60 cents. I really just want to keep going and going and going with examples because number one, they were fun to generate because you're not waiting around all day. By the time you've generated a prompt for your next video, the one you've got going is done. I mean, look at the quality of this video, not just the resolution, but also just the quality of the character animation and the vibe it's got going and how it followed the prompt. This is their light model again at 480p. It took 27 seconds and cost eight cents to run. Anyway, I think you get the message. If you've done any research at all on this, if you've played with any of these models on any of the platforms, you should be able to see immediately with no help from me telling you that this is freaking amazing. To be able to generate at this speed and at a huge discount and have API access for your own applications, which we will get into in future videos, it's just an astounding find and I'm so glad that they reached out. If these are the types of astounding finds you'd like to learn about, well then why not subscribe to this channel because this is what we're on the lookout for all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will.